When starting out with desk time, it's only natural to want to skip to the good stuff and start getting to use it. Rather than wasting your time to figure out how to set up this software, follow our step-by-step -step tutorial that will go through how to set up desk time and start using it quickly. The first step is to create an account. So first, to start off, we have to register and fill in your details. Select who will be using the tool. I'll choose whole team. Then indicate which team categories should already be set up. I'll choose marketing and IT. These can all be changed and edited with time, but indicating them now will save us a little bit of time. Alternatively, you can choose without team. and Everyone will be placed in the same category. This just means that the settings applied later will be applied to everyone homogeneously rather than already divided into specific groups. Next, you have to send teammates invitations to join. Use this opportunity to assign them into a category. Next, choose which features you'll use most. You'll be able to use them all, but those you choose will be an indicator to the desk time team, which are the most preferred features. Now you're in. You can see an overview of your dashboard. There's no data yet because we haven't started collecting any data. The next crucial step to start tracking time is to download the productivity tracker. It's a desktop app that each person using desk time should download in order to start tracking the time that they spend on their computer. You can get the tracker from multiple places. For example, at the footer of the desk time website, any website, you scroll down to the very bottom, the email that you've received by now from desk time, or by going to the My Desk Time section on the left-hand corner of your dashboard. The app by default will offer to download the tracker that's most suited to your computer. In my case, for Macs. Download it, then open the app. Now you sign in using your desk time login details and you'll see an icon appear. For me, on my Mac, it's at the top right corner of your screen and the bottom right for Windows. You can do many things from this tracker. You can access your desk time account by clicking show desk time. You can create and start running a project which will categorize any time spent during this time into that project. This can come in handy when estimating project time for agencies or billing for freelancers by the hour, any of that. From here, you can also set private time, which stops desk time from tracking any data while you're in private time. This is suggested to use when you are interested in doing non-work related activities or activities that you don't want to be seen from the administrators. And here you can also log out of desk time. One thing that you should keep in mind is that once you've logged into the productivity tracker, then it will automatically start up every time that you start using your computer, provided that it's during the set times that time is being tracked on that computer. It doesn't require being launched every time. You don't have to worry about that, but in the settings you're able to define when you begin and when you end tracking hours. So for example, I don't want to track my time after 7 p.m. and at 7 p.m. the time tracker will stop tracking anything. The thing is, if you choose to log out, then you will have to log back in for it to start tracking time again automatically. Now we've successfully started to track time. Theoretically, we can stop here. You can go about business as usual as your time tracking data is already being collected. You can check back into your desk time dashboard to see how you and your team are doing. You can do that by clicking on the desktop icon and going to my desk time, or you can go to the website www.desktime.com and log in from there. Or you can also go to your settings and configure your account further to tailor it to your company's specific needs. Now that's a whole other matter that we will dive into later in a separate video. In the meantime, leave us a comment below about what settings you want us to cover. For more productivity videos, make sure to subscribe to this account and give this video a like. Bye for now.